All right, today we're going to be making a digital replica of this room using an iPhone and then bringing that up into the internet and making changes. So the reason why I'm doing this is because I'm going on a year long journey here to transform this room. I know that's a long timeline here, but I have a full time job and it's going to take some time to really make this space what it needs to be, which is going to be a maker space, tinker lab and place to really just explore and prototype different things and experiment with stuff. We'll also be recording and doing some other activities uh, here as well for the podcast. The Trineo Plus app. Uh, so yeah, this is the app. This is actually um, the space that I scanned before. And I've also scanned a couple spaces. And these are actual digital models, which is pretty cool. Uh, we're going to come here uh, to the Add button. And we're going to come here to the LiDAR Capture All right, so this is the first process. I'm just going to literally walk around the room. And what it's doing right now is it's starting to create a map. And you'll notice that it will recalibrate based on new information and where I'm actually located. So really the trick here is you don't wanna to go too fast and you also wanna make sure that you go over, uh, over spaces twice so that you get a nice uh, scan in the end. And you don't have to take too long in this uh, because uh, you know you don't need to have every single little detail. But uh, let's just, for the sake of this, we'll kind of come in here and at least get some of the ceiling. And we're just keep on picking up on information. I'll go to the middle of the room and just kind of get that one nice glance of everything. Recalibrate, recalibrate. All right, now it's going to be saving this data. And now what we're going to do is we're going to add photos, the photo app. And now we're going to uh, take a series of photos of this room. And the amount of photos that you take uh, it really depends on how accurate, accurate you want the information, uh, how detailed you want the information as well. So with this app, we are getting pretty detailed information and it's going to scan all these things, even my uh, smoothie over here. We can even see uh, my electronics, for instance, uh, some sticky notes. Uh, we'll even get, you know, this like little plaque here and we'll get the desk. pronounced all right and then we'll go add and we'll just select all these images select all these images and there we go we're going to add those keep current selection saving images all right then we'll come here and we're going to go process scan processing your data is uploading your scan will process afterwards all right so the first thing we'll do is we'll go back to the app we can press the radio button here, hit export scan, and then hit OBJ, and then add it to the uh, drive where we can then upload it. In Rhino, we'll go file, import, and we'll find that file. Note that the file will be zipped, so you'll need to unzip it. And then you can access the OBJ. OBJ is a pretty transferable type of format, so if you're using Blender or another application, you should be able to import it. You can see that it came in a little bit lopsided. We'll have to... All right, now we get to the fun part, which is how do we start to manipulate and also just view this information as well. So the first thing we'll see is that uh, we got a little bit of an error of a result for this one. It happens. What I can do is do a points on, and then I can do uh, a click and then a drag down right, and I'll just delete those. In the past, I have exploded these meshes, but then they're just really hard to work with, and it starts to slow down your entire your entire system. So just something to keep in mind to try to avoid that. Another thing that you can do to enhance viewing is you can just use a clipping plane. 
So once I've selected that clipping plane, I can activate it in the perspective view. And then this is just an additional way that we can more easily access and view the information. So I'll come here and I kind of want to view it from uh, the side here. So we'll first take a look at this first scan. And you can see that this one came back pretty clean. You can see details up very detailed in some points too detailed, uh, but that's fine. And then let's take a look at the one where we really try to push the limits and make this um, with a really a lot of information in the room. And you can see that it just didn't come back as clean. So if you're really trying to get a replica of your room, it's probably a best idea to maybe clean it out a little bit. As you can see that when we did this with less stuff, there was uh, less errors that came back. So now let's get to the another exciting part, which is actually seeing how we could potentially use some of these assets. So again, I'm gonna highlight these items and I'm going to do a points on. And whenever you want those points on to be off, you can hit escape and then it will uh, take those off. All right, so we'll just get close enough for demonstration purposes. We'll come here and we'll hit delete. We'll see what this is gonna look like. Let's hit escape. Okay, so we're getting pretty close. Uh, let's just get the final touches here. All right, and then you can see we basically just have the couch here, and then let's just group this, and let's see if we can just place it in this room, mostly for fun. And now that we know, you know, since we scan that couch, and you could just scan smaller objects as well, uh, and then place those into your room. You know, like what it's like to have that couch against the window, and just start to move things around and get a feel for the space and how it actually would look like. And again, you can always just use the reference points and create planes and recreate and remodel your room that way. Uh, but this is just one way to kind of scan to 3D, maybe move some objects around and get some ideas for how you could rearrange your room. So this will be the first step. And the next step we are going to be replacing the lights. We're gonna be looking at what we can do with the floor. Uh, so stay, stay tuned.